What's up, y'all? I know I'm looking crazy because I just got done cutting grass. But while I was out there, I was listening to your video, JT. It is finished. Man. Boy, you hit something then. That is it right there. I left you a comment, man, saying I was going to hit back because that video actually ties in with what I've been on, been thinking about real hard and studying on this week. Man, I say it all the time. We got to know what Christ did on the cross, man. But you know, the problem that I see with a lot of people is that like growing up, always hearing about God, God this, God that, going to church, just doing the whole routine, it became a routine for us. So we actually think we know something that we don't know. And we think we have something that we really never had. We were given a lot of puzzle pieces and we took all of those pieces and tried to put a puzzle together trying to see the big picture and people who really desire the truth they'll take all of those pieces that we were given and they will continue to work to get it put together that's what I did the problem is, when you finally get the puzzle put together, you find out that it's only half of the puzzle anyway. It's only half of a puzzle anyway. So then you figure out that you will probably never have the entire puzzle. See, none of us have all of the truth. That's why we shouldn't stop growing. That's why we shouldn't stop learning. We have not made it. But check this out, man. I was thinking about, like what you're saying, what, what Christ did on the cross. And I was thinking about Christ being the word. Now, an analogy that I like to use is a bag of flour. If you take a bag of flour and you use the entire bag, you make bread, you make donuts, you make cakes, you make bagels, just use that entire bag to make as much as you can out of it. When you get done, where is the flour? It's in all of those things. So your donuts, your bread, your cakes, all of that. What's the bottom line of all of those things that you made? The bottom line is flour. That's the bottom line, flour. Okay, there is a universal law that is at work everywhere you go and in everything you see. This law is working. The sun came up this morning, right? Because that law is working. Tonight, the moon is going to come out because that law is working. Springtime. Flowers blooming, trees blooming, grass growing, because that law is working. After the spring, the summer going to come in. It's going to be extremely hot. We already know this, because that law is going to work. You know what the bottom line of that law is? God. That's the bottom line. So I'm thinking, okay, in the beginning was the Word, 
the word was with God and the word was God. Okay, so God all alone has been the word, not the man-made God that we were taught about growing up. But God, the word, God, the law, God, the system, faith, the design that was put in place for us to live by, that is God. So we know God is the word. God is that law. Okay? So that tells me that the reason I'm so blessed is because I follow that word, that design, that system, which is God. So when God gives me an idea and I go and operate that idea, it's got to be blessed because that is God. I know some people ain't going to be able to catch this. That's all right. But for those who can understand it, Follow me. You know why we have to have a pastor or it's good for us to have a pastor? Because that pastor speaks the word that God gives him. If we listen to it and obey it, that is God that we're obeying. What we obey has to manifest in a way that will blow people's mind. Because that is God. When we fellowship, we talk, we discuss scriptures, God manifests things or God gives us wisdom through our fellowship. It makes us better. It has to because that is God. Bottom line. That's the bottom line. That's why we got scriptures that tell us all of these things, man, that we've heard year after year after year after year, constantly reading these scriptures, never catching it. Scriptures like, believe God's prophets, so shall you prosper. You got to prosper. Everything that you touch got to be blessed because you're following that universal law. You're following that bottom line, and that bottom line is God, and it's got to work. There is no way you're going to put the word into action, whether it's the word that you heard me say through scripture, or the word that you got from pastor when he preached, or the word that you got from another brother it doesn't matter. If it's Bible, if it's the word, then it is God. And it has to work. Has to work. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with how much money you got. <laughs> nothing to do with the job you work on. Nothing to do with who you know. It's all about the bottom line, God. People that don't even believe God exists, they are out doing things and they're grinding and they're putting their best foot forward and things are working out great for some of them. You know why? Because they are activating that universal law. They are actually obeying scriptures without even knowing it. And the scriptures that they obey got to work. It's universal. The ones that they don't obey, guess what? It's going to cause negative things to happen, but that doesn't stop the fact that what they do obey got to bring forth good things. It don't matter that they don't know. They think they something, maybe. They think it's all about them. They don't realize that the only reason that happened and the only reason those blessings came to them was because they did such and such over there. The only reason they helped you like that 
Well, it's because you helped that other guy like that. That's Bible. The only reason you received like that was because you gave like that. But yeah, man, powerful video, powerful message. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. The universal law, the bottom line, but few there be that find it.